Daniel Sports Center will be giving you guys my week five college football playoff predictions for the 2022 season. And we got the first four weeks of the season in the book. So today, as we head into October and into week five, I'll be giving you guys my first edition of college football playoff predictions for this season. And this is usually something that we start doing around this time of the year as we start to get a decent idea of which teams are going to be the main contenders of this 2022 season. It's still pretty early on. This is only week five, and we're just heading into the very early parts of October here. But uh, this is still something that we can start to predict as we start to once again uh, get to know which teams are going to be the main contenders of this 2022 season. So that said, let's get into it with our one through six. We're going to start out with number one, and this week it's going to be the Alabama Crimson Tide. This is a team that is complete on both sides of the ball. Bryce Young defensively, they're even better than they were last year. Honestly, as a whole, Alabama is, I think, a better team than they were last season. Of course, in week two, they had that close game to Texas 2019. They still beat them, but it was way closer than expected, that's for sure. So we'll see how Alabama progresses as the season goes on. But quite honestly, I feel like down the stretch, Alabama is only going to get better. Maybe in week two, they kind of had a slow game, but I feel like at the end of the day, Alabama is going to be the SEC champions as of right now. It's extremely close between Alabama and Georgia. And quite honestly, I'd be stunned if Alabama and Georgia weren't both in the playoff this season. Obviously, a lot of things can happen as we head into the conference, uh, the conference schedule. But as of right now, I've got Alabama at number one. Number two is going to be the Ohio State Buckeyes. No surprise here either. I got Ohio State winning the Big Ten. Um, CJ Stroud, that is a really good football team there. Offensively, they are just outstanding. And the amount of depth that they have at the receiving core and the receiving position as well is, is just outstanding. I mean, if you if you watch their game against Wisconsin this past weekend, you would totally see that. I mean, Jackson Smith and the Jigba, he's not the only outstanding receiver in there. And offensively, C.J. Stroud is their quarterback. Ohio State is a really good team and quite honestly, a big threat to win a national title this season. And number three, no surprise here. Georgia Bulldogs. The top three are pretty set in stone. Honestly, after the top three, it's it could be extremely, it could honestly be anybody. But Georgia's number three for me. I've got Georgia as the SEC runner-up right now. Georgia still is an outstanding football team defensively. They're really strong. They kind of had a bad week against Kent State. I mean, they beat them, but I mean, they allowed 22 points in that game, and that was a pretty sloppy performance against a team that they should have beaten by way more than they did. But once again, that's just an on-conference game. It was a disappointing game, but uh, Georgia's got some got some big matchups coming up, which uh, we'll definitely learn a lot about the Bulldogs moving forward. So there's your top three. Honestly, those three teams could be in any order right now. I just It just so happens that Ohio State's number two as a Big Ten champion, and the SEC champion's number one. SEC runner-up is number three. And number four, I have got one loss Utah in there. So I've got Utah right now uh, completely – running the table and making it as a one loss team into the college football playoff. And quite honestly, you can't count Utah out, not one bit right now. That's a team that they lost in week one to Florida, which was a disappointing loss. And quite honestly, that was just a terrible trap game for Utah. I mean, I, I even predicted Florida to win that game because of how big of a trap game it was going on the road in week one to Gainesville. Very unfamiliar location for a first game of the season. Just a tough uh, first game there for Utah. But the Utes, I've been confident in all off season long. And honestly, even this season, I'm still pretty confident that Utah can make a run for it. And I've got them as a Pac-12 champion right now. Um, that USC and Utah matchup coming up here in a couple of weeks is going to be huge in determining who has a good chance or a very real chance at being in the college football playoff. Because the winner of that game has got a very good chance to win the Pac-12 South. And uh, you get to the Pac-12 title game, you're probably playing Oregon or Washington. That's not a given, but I got Utah right now winning the Pac-12 and being a one-loss team in the Cole Triple Playoff. But once again, I mean, one through three, I'd say, are pretty easy to, to put in there. But four downward is extremely tough. So I've got Utah four for this week. Number five is going to be the Oklahoma Sooners. Oklahoma lost this past weekend to K-State. But as of right now, I've got them as a one-loss Big 12 champion. Big 12 could be won by anybody, quite honestly. It could be, I mean, five, six different teams right now. But I do have the Sooners prevailing. I mean, you got Oklahoma State in there. You got Baylor. You got, I mean, you can't sleep on K-State or Kansas. Yes, Kansas. That just sounds wild to me. But Jalen Daniels and that Kansas football team is very much, I mean, they could be they could be a real threat in the Big 12 this season. It sounds crazy, uh, but it's, it's so true. That is a really good football team there in Kansas right now. And so Oklahoma, I got them winning the Big 12. 
uh, which is pretty familiar to past years. Um, but I mean, and quite honestly, there could be a bit of controversy if this does happen here between Utah and Oklahoma, both teams, one loss, who gets in. Uh, but as of right now, I'd say Utah gets in over Oklahoma. But number six is going to be Clemson. I got the Clemson Tigers at number six. I've got Clemson taking a loss down the stretch. They had an extremely close game to Wake Forest, tough win. I mean, there's a chance that Clemson does go undefeated. And, and obviously, if they go undefeated and win the ACC, they will be in the college football playoff. But I do have Clemson. They're just kind of an iffy team on offense. I think that's a team. I mean, even on defense, they're a pretty good team, but uh, just a bit inconsistent. So I think Clemson, I'm going to I'm going to say they take a loss down the stretch. And I'm not quite sure a one loss Clemson team would get in the college football playoff. So I got the Tigers at number six. So that's what your top six looks like as we headed to week five. Let's look at your first five out for for week five i got michigan at seven second place team in the big 10 east they'll lose to ohio state and ohio state ends up winning that division and winning the big 10 but michigan still remains as a high caliber team obviously the couple of uh, question marks about michigan right now is i mean they they played three really easy non-conference games and dominated but they were they were having a tough game there against maryland this past weekend so we'll see how the um, wolverines do moving forward um, but that's a team that I definitely want to see more of before predicting them in the top six. Oklahoma State's number eight. I got them as the Big 12 runner-up right now um, and probably a one to two loss. Or probably two loss Oklahoma State right now is what I'm predicting for them. Minnesota's number nine. Minnesota I considered having in the top eight or even top seven. Uh, Minnesota, I've got them winning the Big 10 West and turning out to be a pretty big contender of this 2022 season. You can expect Minnesota to potentially be ranked fifth or sixth heading into Indianapolis in the Big Ten Championship game. I think Minnesota, the way their schedule sets up and the way that they've been playing, that's a Minnesota team that could be 11-1 or 12-0. Sounds crazy, but that's a team that could have a really good record heading into Indianapolis. If they win the Big Ten Championship game over Ohio State, we could see a just an absolute wild turn of events of Minnesota getting into the college football playoff. I mean, that team is one to really keep an eye on. They're a big sleeper. I think moving forward. So keep an eye on Minnesota. USC is number 10. Um, the Trojans uh, really like them. I've got Utah beating USC in a couple of weeks, um, which does end up putting Utah at an advantage there. USC still, I think, has a really good record at the end of the season. So I've got them at 10. And then Tennessee at 11. Can't sleep on Hendon Hooker. That's also a really good team right now. Uh, so Tennessee, kind of your third place team, you could say, um, in the in the SEC. And so I got Tennessee losing a game or two down the stretch, but still I wouldn't be surprised to see them 10 and two or maybe even 11 and one. Eh, I'd, probably, I'd probably say 10 and two is more comfortable heading into bowl season. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up for today. Kind of a long shot predicting these things still from week five. And uh, it's going to be fun seeing how things unfold down the stretch. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below on these predictions. And I appreciate you guys watching as always. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.